Oh, I'm so much smarter than my baby. I think I'm just going to trick him into going to bed before me and then stay up and watch a movie and do all sorts of things. So James went to bed at like 9 and Mommy and Daddy stayed up until like 1. And then Mommy said, oh, James is sleeping really well. Maybe she'll stay up and edit a movie. So she stayed up for like another hour and a half. Now James is awake and Mommy doesn't want to wake up. I don't sleep till 11 today. He used to. Go to sleep, James. Look, he's pulling my hair. Hey, maybe my loving husband will take my son and change him and do things with him. But he's lying in bed here keeping me awake. It's the 17 years the Cadus are coming out this year. No one cares about them, Alex. I care. Those stupid, stupid bugs that go all summer. That is what Alex is excited about because this year there's going to be like thousands Billions. of them. Billions. James is getting his crib side card today. And I don't need any comments saying that it's not the way a crib is supposed to be used or anything because okay. we have it under control. This kid is capable of hurting his parents. <laughs> He's capable of saving his life in a in a blanket related scenario. <laughs> James, you have to sleep in a sidecar. He's <laughs> a sad baby. Oh no. His lips go. It's like a giraffe. Don't get the baby. Daddy's getting texted by a skanky hoe. My sister. What are you doing, buddy? You eating an orange? Do you like it? Mommy, that's my orange. <laughs> There's orange everywhere. James! What are you doing, buddy? So if you guys were on my Facebook, um, back when I used to have the public Facebook, then you'll know that Alex and I were looking at this house that we thought was definitely haunted. And all we had seen was just pictures online. And so we actually drove out to just look at the outside of the house today, like just for shits and giggles. And it is the scariest property I've ever seen. So here. It's like right on the edge of this rocky area and it's a stone house. I'm like what is that? Oh my god, that's so scary. No, I, I gotta leave. <laughs> this is what we do for every drive now. He got better and then it seems like ever since we got the house he's gotten way worse. And it just really, really makes you feel like a scared parent when he's constantly, constantly doing this and there's nothing you can do to help him. Right now, I don't know if you guys remember, our bed is there and James's crib is there. An Ikea Gulliver crib, just the regular crib that converts into a toddler bed. Go Alex! Alex was always talking about how much he hated how high up our bed was, but, but now that we've taken the box spring out, it looks like a hospital bed. It's just creepily low with really huge bars. But we're planning on getting rid of the um, bed part and moving it to the guest room in the next <gasps> couple of months anyways, so... <laughs> You love me? No. Why? Because you look like an idiot. I had nose surgery. Can you excuse me? I'm breastfeeding. It's a very private matter. <laughs> You're bothering James. Da da da. Crib successfully side card. And baby's sleeping in it. It's raining right now and we have a rock on our front lawn that's got a dip in it and there's a robin having a bath in it right now. Dinner is very green tonight. Go home, James. You're drunk. But just so everybody on YouTube knows, this is how lazy Alex is. He is driving the car back to the mailbox to get the mail. Oh my god, he's going to drive into the ditch.
Good thing you're not breastfeeding while picking nits out of his hair. People might talk about you. 